Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Monday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and freaking early, man. You know it. It's 3.30 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, where am I going? This is going to be, this is, this is an unusual video. Um, okay, you guys know my gig, right? Uh, I, I come across a story. I look for a story that makes me feel, gives me an emotional feeling, makes me happy, sad, angry, usually angry. And I share it with you guys, uh, you know, because I think you, you guys will probably feel the same way. Let's, let's talk, look at this. Let's talk about it. And usually when I do a video like that, I use empathy. That's my gig here. You know, like I'll put myself in the position of, you know, if I were this person, what would I do? Or I'll talk about this happening to me before. Or I'll talk about what I, something I've learned in the last 16 and a half years of recovery. For instance, like I'll talk about sometimes people will just be people. And it's better just to walk away. You know, uh, the serenity prayer. Change what I can and just give me the serenity to, to, to let it go if I can't change it. Okay, those are my, my usually usually my go tos. None of those are applicable for today's video. I realize that, and I thought maybe well maybe that is the purpose, the point of this video because I will never, I will never know what it's like to feel what this lady's feeling. And this isn't a case where you could just walk away. I I, I could I know I couldn't, and I can't like I said I I can't even put myself in her position. All right, what am I talking about? The the link down below is from the Atlanta Black Star. Okay, and then there'll be another link down below from uh, Basayo Ali. This is the husband. Let me, let me give you the whole story here. This is Flair Airlines. I, it sounds, to me, it sounds like the faces are blurred. And they, they sound like they have a, a, uh, an accent from the, uh, they're, they, they're, they're, they're speaking, it sounds like they're from India. It's, I don't know if Flair is an is a uh, airline from India. Anyway, this is like a flight from Vancouver, Canada. To Calgary, Canada, okay, and there is a nursing mother, a new mother, and her ten—I believe it's ten week, ten week or ten month—a uh, newborn. She's nursing a newborn baby, and her mother-in-law. Now the video, the TikTok video opens up. The the husband talks for a while, and it's hard to understand him. I believe his his he sounds like he's from the continent of Africa. Uh, I don't know what country, but it's a little hard to understand. I mean, it's a little, to be honest, it's a little long-winded. And then it gets to the actual video footage of what happened on this plane. Now, I'll sum that up for you really quick right now. This nursing mother, her child, I assume they, they, they had a seat for the child. Because there's three seats. And the mother-in-law. And the mother-in-law is, is already seated on the plane, as you see in the video. The face is blurred out and she's holding the baby. Okay, and then there's an empty seat. I believe that's that's they, they wanted they needed three seats. And you know, they specifically wanted a window seat. And there's somebody, there's a, a white woman. The, the 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 nursing mother and the mother-in-law are black. And the, the person sitting in her seat, her seat is taken by somebody that shouldn't be there, a white woman. A snotty looking white woman, too. An arrogant, snotty white woman. So she, you know, she's trying to get her seat. You know, this is the seat she wanted. These are the seats she paid for. She calls the airline attendant. And the airline attendant asks the, the, the lady to move, the Caucasian lady. And she says, no, nope, nope, not going to move. You know, because her butt's already in the seat. And it's just, you know, she knows she's in the wrong seat. But it's just, it's, it just be too much of a hassle to give this black lady the seat that she paid for. And she's, you know, and just for this, you know, she shouldn't have to she move. She should, you know, this is the gist I get. Like I said, I could, I could almost, this, the sad thing here is I could almost feel what it's like with this, this, not that it's right, but what this Caucasian lady, her reasoning, you know, she's already got her butt in the seat and this black family should just go somewhere else, even though it's their seats. And other passengers hear this and they give up on the, on the aisle opposite. They give up their three seats. So the, the mother-in-law, the child, and the mother could all sit. And of course, the 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 the, the mother is she's she's upset still. She, you know, you didn't take care of this for me. A pa the captain ends up coming back and says, "Look, if you she, he starts he tells the upset mother, the nursing mother, the black lady, that if she doesn't calm down, she's going to have to get kicked off the plane." You know, she she didn't really she didn't do anything wrong here. Uh, there's a white lady sitting in her seat. And she just said, you know, no, she's not getting up. She, she told the airline stewardess this. And the airline stewardess, 
went along with it, you know, and, and she's upset about it. And then she, then on top of that, the captain says that he's going to kick them off the plane because they're upset because they can't sit in the seats that they paid for. So I started thinking about this. You know, I usually use empathy. And it's a lot of times I'll, I'll point out that I'm half Native American. And none of that applies today. None of that applies. I can't even imagine what this is like. I, I started thinking of like classism. Like, you know, because I'm not all that rich. What if I came back and there was a very, you know, because I can't imagine what it's like. I, I honestly can't even use empathy in this video. And that's the point. Uh, I'll get to that more in a second. I can't even imagine what this like, let alone, I can't even imagine what this like, it's like to go through something like this every single day. I, I you know, and I could, I could try to use classism. Like, what if this was a rich rich guy sitting in my seat and he wouldn't get up just, you know, first of all, a rich guy would be sitting in first class, probably, you know, he wouldn't want to associate with us common folk. And it's still, it's not the same thing. This isn't something that happens to me every single day. It's a common occurrence. I, I just, I couldn't even use empathy in this video. And I started thinking about that. And if you're watching this video, there's, there's three different ways you can see this video. There's one way, if you're black, you can see it like it is, like this is something that probably occurs to you often. Uh, if you're Caucasian, you can see this one of two ways. Like I see it or like some of how some other people see it. I see it as I can't even imagine what this feels like to be to, to be discriminated, discriminated against in this way. And it's wrong. It's wrong. And it makes me want to do something to help her, to, to, to fix this. And I know that it's racism because I've heard other Caucasian people speak when, when nobody else is around. And I know what they say. And I know what this woman is probably thinking. Or if you're Caucasian, you might look at this the other way. Like, look, the problem with South, you know, she's just making a big stink about nothing. And she just should just, just sit in her seat. A seat's a seat, you know. And... And there's, that's the two ways you could look at this. And I can't look at it any other way, but this is wrong. And it, it, it gets me angry. It gets me impassioned that I can't even use empathy to feel this. That I can't even imagine what this feels like. Um, and then the part about walking away from this. Like, usually I, I would tell you guys, you know, if I, I can't change, like, this woman's obviously... Uh, an entitled jerk, you know, and usually I would say, well, just walk away and take the seat. But in this case, this, I, I always say, unless, unless it's going to promote you being submissive. And in that case, that's what's happening here. You can't, I, I couldn't just walk away from this. Uh, and like I said, I can't even imagine what it's like to feel like this, let alone feel like this every single day. And that makes me want to speak up about it and, and do something about it, even though I can't, I, I probably will never be in this position. It makes me angry that people are doing this to other people. Um, I, I know what I would do, and it isn't good. Uh, this isn't a case where I would walk away. I would end up, uh, you know, if I was threatened that, you know, somebody was in my seat and I had to sit in another seat eventually, you know, and the pilot threatened to kick me off the plane. And this isn't even taking race into effect, into, into the matter, because like I said, I can't imagine, I, I just, I can't even use my Native American ancestry to, to put myself in that position. I would probably take the other seat, you know, to, to not get kicked off the plane, but it would stew, it would stew in my head. And I know myself all too well, and I'm not saying this is a good thing. I would probably end up following this person after they got off the plane to their car and then I would probably when nobody was around I would probably take out my frustrations uh when there were no cameras or people around on this person and uh <laughs> and teach them uh teach them something about being fair uh the whole the whole point of this is I, I it, it makes me angry that it makes me frustrated that I will I I do I will never know what it feels like to to, to be discriminated against like this and it makes me frustrated that some people, that doesn't even bother them. That there's some people that will just look at this and they won't even be able to, 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 to fathom what this is. This must be like to go through every day. And they'll just say, why, you know, why, why are you making a fuss? Just take another seat. 
and that's why there's different people in this world. Uh, the links will be down below. Like I said, uh, it, it's an unusual video. I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to do this video, but yet I still want to talk about it. It's something that I will never have to deal with, but that doesn't mean that I can't speak up about it. All right. You guys have a good Monday.